Pat and Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego. This video is going to be all about your dress fitting and what you need to know. Now the first tip I will say is do this sooner rather than later. You do not want to wait too late because if any problems arise, you might not have time to fix them or find a new dress if something goes wrong. Now my second tip is to choose wisely who you hire to do your alterations. Do not skimp out on this because if you choose some cheapo and they don't have good reviews and they bought your dress, you might have to end up spending way more on a new dress or for somebody to fix it than you would have if you had simply chosen a higher quality seamstress or alterations place. So make the right decision, ensure that you're going somewhere that is well reviewed and talk to them about how long it's gonna take. Make sure you know everything, how they keep the dresses, you know, if you're really scared about it getting stolen, how they lock up their shop, I don't know. But just make sure you do your due diligence in choosing the great place. Now, after dress fitting, you need to make sure that you are bringing with you the undergarments you'll be wearing for your wedding day, including Spanx if you're wearing those, and your actual wedding shoes. You can wear them with socks if you like so you don't get them dirty, but your seamstress will need to know what kind of shoes you're wearing so they know how to hem your dress properly. You don't wanna end up deciding that you want heels, but you went to your fitting in flats and now your dress is too short in heels and you can't wear them. So that is something that you should absolutely be keeping in mind. Now during the fitting itself, it is so important that you guys speak up if there's something you want or don't want. For example, at my fitting, the seamstress showed me what the bustle would look like and I didn't like it. For my dress, I felt like it wasn't a good look. So I told her, no, I really don't want the bustle. I would rather you just hem it in the back, but make it a little bit longer than the front, but you know, short enough so that I don't have to worry about it while I'm dancing because I have worked with so many brides and almost every bride has sort of dress difficulties that they have to work around, whether they can't sit in it or they have to hold it up and can't carry their bouquet and hold the groom's hand. And that's fine, choose the dress that you want. But for me, it was important that I could be really mobile and I didn't have to worry about taking time to bustle or do any kind of modifications in order to walk or sit or dance. So that's just what I've chosen because I've witnessed too many disasters where we can't get the bustle on and this and that. So I wanted it to be easy. If they do educate you and say something is really not a good idea, listen to what they're saying and be open and know that if you decide to go against what they are suggesting that you are aware of the consequences. That's like everything in the wedding business. Sometimes there's things that we think aren't great, but if you're gonna do them, you need to know what's going to happen. One, because you need to manage your expectations properly so that there are no bad surprises. And two, so we cover our own butt so that we don't get in trouble from you saying, why did this happen? And we can say, well, we told you that this might happen, but you chose to do this, whatever. So just know that you need to speak up, but if there is something they're recommending, be open to it. Now, the last thing is make sure that after your first fitting, your dress comes back, you try it on. If you're not happy with it completely, have further modifications. If you're good to go with it, then that's great. You are all set. Thankfully, I only had to do one fitting and it was perfect on the first go around, so I don't have to do it again, which makes me very happy. So now my dress is just hanging up. I know this video is coming out after we're actually already married, but I'm filming it about I don't know, like five days before our wedding. So I'm just getting things done before our honeymoon. But anyways, make sure that your fitting goes well, make sure you speak up, make sure you try your dress on and that you have plenty of time to do all of this so that if something does go wrong, you have time to resolve it or worst case scenario, get a new dress. So if you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to go ahead and do that down below before you click out, leave this video a like and comment down below and let me know if you are already done with your alterations or if you haven't done them yet. See you guys next time. Bye.